All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakaq, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akiyam out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? Title of this video is Adam and Eve were not literally naked okay it's figurative language okay it's a figure of speech okay and um the bible is a puzzle man okay you got to be able to have the 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 uh holy spirit dealing with you which you know that means set apart spirit or truth okay now word figurative okay means departing from a literal use of words or metaphorical okay metaphorical okay that word means I don't know why the heck it ain't pop up let me pull it up so like you Okay, the word metaphorical means a figure of speech in which a term or phrase is applied to something to which it is not literally applicable in order to suggest a, re a resemblance. Okay, and that's what um, the uh, term naked, okay, means. Okay, it's, it's a figurative of, uh, figure of speech, I should say, okay. Genesis 2 and 25 and they were both naked the man and his wife and were not ashamed see a lot of people would read this and just think that okay that they were just walking around you know uh, butt naked you know uh, and didn't care okay um, there's a lot of figures of speech man because a lot of these churches you know they read this and and you know they mangle the scriptures okay but that's why I'm gonna I'm you know through the spirit uh, gonna prove that the word uh, naked is not uh, literal in this uh, sense okay which in this definition the word naked okay is uh, our, our our one okay which means naked or bare, okay? Now, let's see what the word bare means, okay? Not of, of a person or part of the body, not clothed or covered, okay? Another definition. Without addition, basic and simple, okay? Now, this is all, this, this, this is talking about spiritually okay that they were naked not not physically okay um genesis 3 and 7 and and the eyes of them both were opened okay when you read this okay it's not like all of a sudden they were sleeping then now now all of a sudden they their eyes are, are just open now okay their eyes, they already were open before, okay? It says, and they knew that they were naked, okay? It's not like they just they just opened up their eyes and they, they knew at that moment that they was naked. It says, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. A lot of people will look at this and just think, oh, they realized that they was naked and they put clothes on, right? It says, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden people would think that they would be hiding behind trees okay and that's not what this the scripture is talking about man okay and the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him where art where art thou and he said I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Okay. It says. And he said. Who told you that you was naked. 
Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded you not to, I mean, that you shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman which thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Okay? And notice it doesn't say anywhere in there an apple. Okay? But the, the, the point is, it says, uh, Who told you that you was naked? Okay? Continuing on. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. Okay? It's not like Moses came down from the mountain and he just saw naked people. Okay? And that's what he was mad about. No, that's not what the scriptures is talking about. It's figurative. Okay? Now, right here, Okay, under cross references, it says naked. The term naked may mean either that they were unarmed or and defenseless or ashamed from the consciousness of, of guilt. Okay? So these people were naked and they they were they were basically not in the, in their right mind. Okay? They they were they were they were going off and it says ashamed from the consciousness of guilt. Okay. Continuing on. Okay. Next verse. Job twenty six and six. These are just scriptures to show you that the word naked can be used in different different uh, ways. Okay, not just literal. It says how it is naked before him. And destruction has no covering. Okay? So, you mean to tell me that there is a place called hell that is just straight up naked? Okay? Don't have no clothes on? No, that's not what the scriptures is talking about once again. Okay? It says hell is naked. Okay? Now, here go a key to reading the scriptures and understanding what they're talking about. It's precept upon precept. Okay? So in order to break down of, of scripture like this, hell is naked before him, you got to go to another verse and see what the heck that's talking about. Okay? So right here it says hell is naked before him, right? So when you look up hell, it gives you certain precepts. Okay? It says um, Psalms, let's say one, 139 and 8. If I send up into heaven... You are you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. So basically, there's no way that you can hide from the Lord. Okay, there's no no way that you can you can escape that judgment when it's when it's uh when it's time for that to come. Okay, you want to know how? Okay, and hell is hell has different meanings, man. Okay, hell is the grave. Okay. And right here, okay, Amos 9 and 2, though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them, though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. Okay, so you can't hide, man. Okay, and, and here go the thing. When America is uh, about to be destroyed, you're going to have people that are going to try to dig down into the grave okay and guess what the lord the lord made that you can't you can't escape that okay he sees right through all that stuff man so continuing on uh proverbs 15 and 11 hell and destruction are before the lord how much more than the hearts of the children of men. Okay, which the word heart or in, in the uh Hebrew is la, which means mind, okay? How much more the mind of the children of men? So the Lord knows your thoughts, man. Okay? Once again, hell is the grave and it's also a living condition. Okay? So, so a lot of these people, they're, they're, uh, when they die, 
okay? That's based off of the, the, the mindset that they have, okay? Which is not towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh okay? So the Lord punishes people for, from all of the, 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 the things that they do, okay? And there is no escape, okay? Now, continuing on, once again it says, Hell is naked before him, and destruction has no covering. Now, this is Hosea 2 and 1. Say unto your brethren, Ama, and to your sisters, Ra, Ru, Ruhama. Okay? Now, it says, Say unto your brethren, Ama, and to your sisters, Rahuma, Rahama, Ru, Ruhama. Okay? When you're going to the word Ama, okay? The word Ama. Okay, it says nation or people, people, nation, persons, members of one's people, compatriots, countrymen, okay, a flock, okay, now, Ruhama, okay, in the Hebrew is Rakam, okay, it, mean, it means to love, love deeply, have mercy, be compassionate, have tender affection, compa have compassion. Okay? So basically what it's saying, say on to your to your brothers, y'all are my brothers, y'all are my y'all are my people. Okay? You know, basically the ones who, who who the Lord loves, right? It says, plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife. Okay? Neither am I her husband. This is talking about this is the, the Lord, okay? This is talking about the Lord. And his feelings toward his the, the the Israelites, okay, the nation of people, okay, who the Lord have have compassion for, okay. For she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away all her whoredoms out of her sight, okay, and her adulteries from between her breasts, okay. So the nation of Israel, okay. Let me get that scripture. Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a calmly and delicate woman. Okay, so the nation of Israel, okay, is known as the Lord's wife according to the scriptures. Okay, so continuing on. Okay, say on to the Israelites, you're not the Lord's woman anymore. Okay, and he's not your husband. Okay, put away your, your whoredoms out of his sight. Okay, stop, stop going after these other guys other gods okay these and, and, and being wicked okay it says lest i strip her naked okay and this is talking about a whole people man okay it's not talking about just stripping somebody naked okay it said and it's this is spiritual once again it says lest i strip her naked and set her as in the day that she was born and make her as a wilderness, and set her like a dry land, and slay her with thirst. So when you go deeper into this scripture, okay, the Lord basically took a, he, he 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 did strip our people naked, okay, through through slavery, okay, brainwashed us, okay, and 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 made us destitute, okay destitute without the basic necessities of life okay which when you go into the scriptures okay the basic necessities of of a man okay this is what a man is supposed to do okay It's in Ecclesiastes. One it says in the seventh verse. Oh, the, the twelfth verse. Uh Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear 
fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of of man and our people do not fear God okay nor do they keep his commandments okay once again what did what did the Lord say from the very beginning I commanded you that you're not supposed to eat okay of that tree okay so continuing on it says lest I strip her naked and the Lord did strip us naked okay by putting us under slavery okay for not keeping his words that's that's where the curse is coming to play okay our people don't know the truth man okay at first our people didn't know no no uh wickedness okay but now our people when our people got put in, into our land okay and was given the law statutes and commandments of how we were supposed to be that's when the Lord clothed us, okay? And we weren't naked, okay? Once again, it says a saint from the consciousness of guilt, okay? And our people, you know, they, they don't have no, no uh, shame, okay? It says, and, and sat her is the day that she was born and make her as a wilderness, and she and sat her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. Okay, because our people don't know what the heck is going on. Okay? They don't know uh the prophecies that are in the scriptures. Okay. So our people are naked, okay, when you go into the scripture. Okay? Now the Lord the Lord did make us make us bare. Okay. Now continuing on. Jeremiah six and fifteen. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not ashamed at all. Neither could they blush. Okay, and this this is talking about our people nowadays, okay? Because our people don't don't consider that they're doing wrong. Okay? They 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 know that they're doing wrong, but they don't they don't have any guidance as far as let you know with the scriptures and in, in, in the Holy Spirit. Okay, it says neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall at the time that I visit them. They shall be cast down, saith the Lord. Okay, so our people are naked and they're not a saint. Okay. Word shame means a painful feeling of humiliation, a distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish doing, or foolish behavior, okay? A loss of respect or esteem, okay? Disgrace, which, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to go into the word disgrace, okay, uh, one of these days, okay? Now... They also have different words, okay, or definitions, okay, right here for the word uh, naked, okay, and it's, what, eight different definitions, okay, so the word naked doesn't just mean uh, straight up, literally, uh, without, I mean, somebody doesn't have clothing, okay, it, it says, not covered by clothing, Right, devoid of customary or natural covering, covering, okay, which our people don't have their 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 natural customs, okay, or their natural covering, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh okay. They got all these other different coverings, okay, Jesus and uh, you know Allah and all these other different coverings, okay, and Muslims and you know Egyptologists, okay. Y'all people are naked. Y'all don't y'all not cloth with the truth. Okay? It says not enclosed in the scabbard. Okay, continuing on. It says scantily supplied or furnished. Okay, lacking in embellishment. Okay. Uh unarmed defenseless. Okay. And that's a that's a good one. Because our people they don't they don't um they they don't have the their defense, man. Okay? Was that defense? is the, the the actual name of the Lord okay
Let's see what the scriptures say. The name, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Okay? What? The tower is, is defending them. Okay? When that tower that's defending them is the name of the Lord. Okay? Continuing on. Okay? It says, uh, and it also talk, talk about uh, arming yourselves in the scriptures, man. Let's see what the scriptures say. First Peter four and one for for then I mean for as much then as Yahweh have suffered for us in the flesh arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. All <laughs> people don't have the same mind as Yahweh Okay, for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Okay, and a lot of our people are going to die in their sins, okay, so because they're unarmed, okay, with this truth, and they're defenseless, okay, it says, lacking confirmation or support, devoid of concealment or disguise, I mean, dis disguise, unaided by any optical device or instrument, then it says, the naked eye, the naked eye, okay, you also have something called the naked truth, okay, which I'm going to get into that, and then I'm going to end the lesson. It says, not backed by the writer's uh, ownership of the commodity contract or security. Now, the word naked truth, okay, means plain, unadorned facts, okay, without concealment or embellishment. Okay, and I'm glad that I pulled that scripture, or y'all, but see me also led me to the scripture of uh, arming yourselves with the same like mind. Okay, because one, one is it says unadorned facts, plain unadorned facts. Okay, not adorned or plain. Okay, now right here it says unembellished, unornamented. Okay, when it comes down to the truth. Okay, undecorated, and a lot of a lot of Christians. Okay, when it comes down to these scriptures, okay, they want to decorate the, the truth. Okay, with things that is not what the Lord wants on there, man. Okay, it says unvarnished, unfussy, no nonsense. Okay, so it's no nonsense when it comes down to this truth. Okay, no frills, plain, basic, restrained, unsoy, unflashy. Bare, simple, and here go the key word right here, austere, okay? Yahweh Shah was austere, okay? Unadorned, okay? He was a plain man, okay? Now, as far as with the scriptures, okay? You see, with, with Proverbs... It's not no scriptures in the scripture. I mean, it's not no any scriptures in the Bible of uh, with in uh, Proverbs with garments in it. Okay, but that is is many other scriptures in there. Okay, now this is uh, <coughs> this, hey, y'all some y'all size cold man. Okay. This is Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keeps his garments. Okay, and them, them garments is this truth. Being, being clothed. Okay, with this truth, man. Okay, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures. Okay. It says, Lest he walk naked and they see his same. Okay. So it says, blessed is he that watches and keeps his garments. Okay, because the, the elect is going to see the destruction of these people. Okay, when the Lord comes back and visit them. Okay, that, that are, are walking around naked and not ashamed. Okay. And keeps his garments. Okay, and doesn't go back into the world, fall out. Okay, keeping this truth. 
Okay, you know you're an Israelite. Okay, you 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 hold you're adorned until the end. Okay, it says, lest he walk naked. Okay, going back into the world and they see his same, and you end up getting destroyed. Okay, so Adam and Eve were not physically or literally naked. Okay. So with that, man, um, I'm going to say shalom.